Hello students, today we are going to have a new topic. It's called, what not to do with electricity. But before we continue with our lesson, we have some words to learn. First, stick. Again, stick. Let's spell stick. S T I C K. Stick. Next word, touch. Again, touch. Let's spell touch. T O U C H. Touch. Lastly, switch. Again, switch. Let's spell switch. S W I T C H. Switch. Now, before we continue with our lesson, we are going to have a little review. Last time, we learned that electricity is dangerous. That's right. And that an electric shock from a wall socket could kill you. There. That's why you need to be careful when using electricity. And an electricity tip from the mains is 220 volts. And that's high enough to kill people if it flows through their bodies. That's why it's really dangerous. Spiky and Bubbles are flying a kite. They're having fun, but it's a dangerous setting. Spiky is flying the kite too close to the power lines. If the kite gets stuck in the power lines, he could get an electric shock. How? Well, the metallic wire of the kite is a conductor, and so is our body. If the kite touches the power line, a large electric current may flow down the wire, moving through the person and into the ground. This completes the circuit and causes an electric shock. That is why, when a large current passes through a person, he or she can receive an electric shock. If the current is very strong, it can prove to be fatal. An electric shock occurs when a person touches live or damaged wires, causing current to flow through his or her body. Besides electric shocks, unsafe use of electricity can also cause short circuiting. A short circuit occurs when wires accidentally touch, forming a path of very low resistance. This draws a large current from the source and overheats the wires. This overheating of the conducting wires can also result in a fire. But even with all these dangers, we need electricity in our daily lives. What can we do? Spikey does have a point. To solve this problem, we can use the following devices to ensure the safe use of electricity. Fuses, miniature circuit breakers or MCBs, earth wires, three pin plugs, earth leakage circuit breakers or ELCBs. Let's take a closer look at these devices. A fuse is a piece of thin conducting wire with a low melting point connected to the circuit. When the current in the circuit exceeds a safe limit, the fuse heats up and melts, breaking the circuit and stopping the flow of current. Fuses protect against short circuits and overloading, but replacing a fuse again and again can be quite tiresome. To overcome this problem, automatic fuses called miniature circuit breakers or MCBs are used. Whenever there is an excess amount of current flow in the circuit, the MCB automatically trips off, thus breaking the circuit. The MCB can then be turned back on like a switch without the need to replace the automatic fuse. Next are earth wires. 
Earth wires protect us from electric shocks by sending excess current into the ground. If short-circuiting occurs in a device, current will flow directly into the earth through the earth wire. This protects the person who touches the faulty wire. Let's discuss the three-pin plug now. Two pins of the plug connect the appliance to the main supply, while the third pin connects the appliance to the earth wire. The earth wire has a similar function. It sends excess current into the ground, thus preventing electric shocks. Lastly, we have the earth leakage circuit breaker. An ELCB is a safety device used in electrical appliances to prevent electric shocks. It detects a small current passing through the earth wire of the appliances. It then turns off the power when the amount of current reaches a dangerous level. There are several ways to prevent electric shocks and short circuiting. Here are some of the safety measures we can take. 1. Don't poke anything into electric sockets. 2. Don't touch electrical appliances or sockets when your hands are wet. Water can conduct electricity. 3. Don't use appliances with damaged or exposed wires. 4. Don't overload a power socket by plugging too many appliances into it. This will draw a large current which may burn the wire and cause fires. Be particularly careful about this since many of us like to connect multiple appliances to one socket. 5. Don't change a bulb until you have turned off its switch. 6. Don't try to repair an electrical appliance by yourself. Get an electrician to do it. After learning about the safety measures for using electricity, Spikey and Bubbles are now flying the kite in an open ground, nowhere near the power cables. Let's summarize. The unsafe use of electricity can result in electric shocks and short circuits. Devices such as fuses, miniature circuit breakers, earth wires, three-pin plugs and earth leakage circuit breakers ensure that we can use electricity safely. We can also take some safety measures to avoid electric shocks. So what was the video all about? Yes, it's about the safety measures when using electricity. Now let's proceed with a topic, what not to do with electricity. Yes, here are some tips on what not to do with electricity. First, always remember, you need to be very careful when using electricity because it may result in accidents or even death. Number one, don't stick scissors, pens, fingers, or anything else into a main socket. See how dangerous that was? Again, don't stick scissors, pens, fingers, or anything else into a main socket. Just, the, just like the boy did. It's very dangerous. Number two. Don't touch switches with wet hands. See how dangerous that was? Again, don't touch switches with wet hands. Make sure your hands are dried up before using sockets or plugging into something into sockets. Third, don't use electrical things near water. Just like that. Because that is very, very dangerous. Again, don't use electrical things near water because it might cause some accident. So, 
let's have a review. First, don't stick scissors, pens, fingers, or anything else into a main socket. Number two, don't touch switches with wet hands. Number three, don't use electrical things near water. Let's go to the top again. Number one, don't stick scissors, pens, fingers, or anything else into a main socket. Two, don't touch switches with wet hands. And number three, don't use electrical things near water. And now for our activity, you have to get your notebooks and write the what not to do with electricity. Again, you get your books, your notebooks, and write the what not to do with electricity. How many are there? That's right, there are three what not to do with electricity. All you have to do is write it down in your notebooks. And don't forget to write the date. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.